Hello friends and welcome to this video where we are going to show how to scrape and trim your freshly installed nerdy gurdy basic wheel. So make sure you have enough light, have a seat, a strap in and we are going to dive in by putting some masking tape around your wheel slot. And the point of that is to protect the finish of your new instrument. Because let's be honest, it would be a shame to scratch it up at this point. You haven't even put the strings on yet. When you are happy with the masking tape, grab a nice, fresh, sharp, single-edged blade. You're going to grab it firmly and hold it at an angle against the wheel. And pay attention to the sound now. The point is to scrape off just the highest bits of the wheel. Keep the blade in position at this point. This is fine. Now you're gonna gather a fair bit of sawdust. Just tap it off or blow it off uh, at regular intervals so you can keep an eye on what the surface of your blade is doing or the edge in particular. You can vacuum later, you can make a mess. Now when you start noticing that the blade doesn't scrape as much as it did before, you can move it inward slightly. Keep cranking, not too much. If your wheel's jamming, you're pushing it too hard. So, just tiny little bits. Now when you're working, take a moment sometimes to check on uh, your progress and you can do that by moving the blade away slightly just to see how true the wheel is at this point.
if you listen to the sound right now, you can already tell that it is getting a lot more even. So we're definitely making a lot of progress here. Now, when you are happy, grab some fine grit sandpaper, something like a 600 grit, and just give it a light sanding, the surface of the wheel. So we're talking about the surface, but don't forget about the corners. So you can take off any sharp edges, but don't round off the corners too much. So gentle, gentle's good. And you can also crank backwards, so. Try to send in both directions. Now you can grab your blade to do a final check. Just a visual check. And when you are happy, You can take off the masking tape. Now, at this point, you can legally touch the surface of your wheel. It's just, when you use your fingertips, you can feel if there are just any stray rough spots or wood fibers sticking out and uh, grab some 800 or 1000 grit sandpaper to take those off. Again, crank you forward and backwards. And because we just touched the wheel, <laughs> Grab some alcohol so you can clean it. So that is some high grade alcohol, IPA, 99% would be best if you can get it in your country. And a cotton cloth, lint free. So we're gonna put on the rosin. You can grab a block rosin like this or some liquid rosin. I put on a generous amount. You don't have to be frugal with rosin at this point. When you are happy with the amount of rosin, go back to your lint-free cloth and give the rosin a bit of a polish. You wanna try and heat it up a little bit, so crank fast, and this is so the rosin layer becomes nice and smooth. If it starts to look shiny, like a new varnish, that means you're doing a good job. So in the meantime, we have installed the first string off camera and tuned it to the right pitch. So that is a lot of string pressure. So on a nerdy gurdy basic, you can adjust that on the bridge with a hex key. And that very light tone means right now without cotton, this is the right string pressure. So if you go back to your rosin, we're gonna put a little bit of rosin on the place where you can are going to put the cotton. And you could put the use block rosin like this. Be gentle when you're rubbing because the wrapping is quite fragile. You can also use liquid rosin. Now with clean hands, grab a little bit of cotton, just a tiny bit. 
perfect. Okay, and grab it between two fingers, and then while lifting the string, start feeling it under the string, so between the string and the wheel, and slowly crank. And the rosin is slightly sticky, so that will make sure that the cotton is going to wrap around the string. And there we have it. Okay. No hurdy-gurdy on the world is going to sound perfect at this point. The string still needs to settle. The instrument has to get used to making a sound. So expect to fiddle it with it a little bit. So keep playing, but as long as your rosin is good, and the string pressure is good. And your cotton is good. Then you should be golden. And there is coming. So thank you for watching this video. We hope that this was helpful in, um, and we want to wish you the best of luck in building your own Nerdy Gurdy Basic. And have a wonderful day. Bye.